For anglers, spring may well be the best time of year to plan a trip to Weatherby's. On beautiful, gin-clear Grand Lake stream, mayfly and caddisfly hatches have the landlocked salmon looking up and actively feeding. At the same time, the region's pristine, undeveloped lakes, ponds, and rivers offer some of the finest smallmouth bass fishing anywhere, and Weatherby's sits right in the middle of it all. Smallmouth fishing here is steeped in tradition, and at the very heart of that tradition is the Grand Lake Stream Canoe, or Grand Laker. Guides usually begin arriving at Weatherby's with their prized craft in tow, just as guests are sitting down to breakfast in the dining room. Most all are built locally, and although they might look brand new, some in use today are better than 30 years old. It's hard to imagine a craft better suited to the area or to the tasks it's routinely called upon to perform. The region surrounding Weatherby's has numerous lakes and ponds in a variety of shapes and sizes, nearly all of which hold smallmouth bass. The season begins in late May with pre-spawn fish sticking fairly close to warming shorelines. This is followed closely in June by the absolute madness that is the spawn. This is topwater season and explosive takes are the norm. 50 to 100 fish days are commonplace. Fly fishermen will find a seven weight rod with floating line an excellent choice for this type of fishing. Having a reel with a decent drag isn't a bad idea either. At this time of year, bass will eagerly take both topwater and subsurface offerings, and anglers often choose to mix it up throughout the day. Some arrive at Weatherby's better prepared than others. While smallmouth fishing, anglers often get into pickerel as well. They can be extremely aggressive and a lot of fun to catch. As a bonus, pickerel are also very tasty and guides will frequently keep a few to prepare for lunch. Firm ground, a nice fire, Hot coffee and some fresh pickerel to go along with the Weatherby's lunch basket make for a perfect <laughs> midday break. Although most of our guests are fly fishermen, spin fishermen, of course, are more than welcome. Spinning tackle also allows younger anglers to get in on the action. A stone's throw from the front door of the lodge is where the other half of the Weatherby's spring fishing experience takes place. The crystal clear waters of three mile long Grand Lake Stream offer landlocked fishing beyond compare. Because of the stream's clarity, anglers are able to sight fish most of the time to either rising fish or ones that are cruising just above the stream's gravelly bottom. Unlike their famed cousins, the Atlantic salmon, landlocks are very active feeders in the spring and summer. They'll take nymphs, dries, and streamers like the classic New England gray ghost. But just like their cousins, they love to fight and have no problems leaving the water for extended periods of time. Grand Lake Stream has been fly fishing only since 1903, and many believe that the finest landlocked salmon fishing in the world takes place right here. Having two such outstanding fisheries available at the same time in the same place is almost unheard of. Springtime fishing here at Weatherby's is most definitely an experience you don't want to miss.